gang, look at here. I got friends with me this time. Pete Spellos with Joshi and Libby. And the improv we're going to do now for you is gibberish. You might have seen us do some of these during the day. What it is, is one of the people going to speak gibberish. The other has to translate the poem. I give them a suggestion that they have to be obsessed with. And this obsession is going to be trucks. So let us see the obsessed gibberish poem about trucks. Oh, like a snake, but I I cannot believe how great trucks are. They can never vroom, vroom. The sound of the vroom, vroom. But they get a burp, burp, burp. It makes me just want to drive everywhere. But they get a banana. And wave hello as I drive on by. But they kiss a banana. But, but what if I don't have a truck? But they what happened to my truck? Was it, was it there? Do you know where it is? Was it, zip it, zip it. Just, just let me have it. Was it, did you have it? I'll, I'll, I'll gladly do it for you. Was it gay? Didn't buy. It would make my heart sing. Hey, look who I found on the internet, Martin and Ren, two of our Breakfast Anytime players. So for this game, hmm, the obsession for the poem will be Thanksgiving. An obsessive poem told in gibberish with a translator about Thanksgiving. And by the way, it goes something like this. There are so many holidays across the world. My favorite one is the eating raw Thanksgiving. Everyone thinks the turkey needs to be small, but it needs to be huge. And never ever overlook the gravy. The best part is squeezing the whole family in the house. And banishing anyone who starts a fight. Because how are we supposed to celebrate with pie and stuffing if there's fighting? Everyone hold hands for Thanksgiving. Well, look at all the manpower here. Breakfast Anytime is back with another improv for you. What we're going to do, wrestling fans, and that was for Joshi. We're going to do one of the improvs we call gibberish. That we're, I'm, I'm actually going to play this one. Uh, Robert is going to start a, a, a story about something he's obsessed with in gibberish, and I have to translate the poem. So, Josh, from you, we need a, a, an obsession that we can tell a poem about. Well, let's play off your wrestling comment and say... You are obsessed with sports. Okay, very good. So Josh, disappear. I love that power, and I didn't even do anything with my hands. This is a gibberish translated poem about sports. Malaya Kamea Hula. It may not look it. Kahia Pala Malaya. But I'm incredibly athletic. Kahula Malaya Malaka. Many times I could lift my weight. Kaholu Kalea Kamea Mea. The whole idea being the strongest man wins. The people on my island talk about me very much. Oh, they say his father was strong, but is he strong? I am the sports champion of all the islands. I could eat more papaya than anybody. I could eat Kalua with the papaya than anybody. Come on, come on, Kia. And yet, the one sport I, I can't do. Kalua, mama, Curling, it's too hot here. Kafua. The ice. Kaua. The passion. Kale. Norwegian women. I will be strong. Kafu. For father. 